Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. This will be another Octo Expansion video and this will be another episode in the Your Theories series and what I have done since the Octo Expansion did get announced in a Nintendo Direct at the start of March, what I have done is gone through the theories that you guys are leaving in the comment section of my videos and you guys are coming up with some really interesting theories about the Octo Expansion and what will happen in the DLC. So what I do in this series is discuss your theories and add my thoughts on your theories. So I'm not sure how much time I will have to do more of these episodes. We are currently three weeks away from E3. I probably have another couple of episodes after this episode before I do give my final theories on the Octo Expansion and then E3 will probably happen. We will probably get more information and then if this series can continue then it will. But let's just get on with this episode and the first theory comes in from Cosmo M. I have a theory that Agent A is Marina's sister. It may sound weird but I think it's true and I know a couple of other people have had that same theory in the comments of my videos as well. It's just that I can't find your comments but I definitely have seen this theory pop up in the comment section of my videos and I think this is definitely likely to happen just because Marina and Agent A they do look the same and maybe Maybe they look the same because they are a different Octarian species compared to all of the other Octolings. Maybe they are a different octopus species. I know some people are saying that maybe Marina and Agent A are the Dumbo octopus. So maybe that is the case and maybe how Nintendo will explain that in the game itself. Maybe they will explain this by saying that Agent A and Marina are related but then again surely all Octolings and Octarians are related just because they are created from a host octopus that cuts off its tentacles so surely all Octolings and Octarians are related. I don't know maybe Nintendo will make Agent A and Marina related but actually having thought about it a little bit more maybe because all Octarians are related to each other. Maybe they won't necessarily make a big deal out of Agent A and Marina being related. But if they do come from a different host octopus compared to all of the other Octolings and Octarians, then maybe Nintendo will explore that sort of aspect within the DLC but that is definitely an interesting theory. Let's move on to some theories by Kevin not an actual name. So his first theory is what are Octolings like why are they different from normal Octarians? People are saying Agent A is a clone. I think a more likely explanation is that all Octolings are grown in labs from Octarian and Inkling DNA. That includes Octolings from 1 and 2's hero modes. Perhaps their goggles are indeed brainwashing them. Now this is an interesting theory but the one thing that I'm questioning at the moment is that if all Octolings are grown in labs from Octarian and Inkling DNA including Octolings and Octarians in the single players for Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 then how come the Octolings and Octarians they are different in terms of the colour in the Octo Expansion. How come the Octolings and Octarians have a different colour in the Octo Expansion compared to the Octolings and Octarians in the single players? Let's move on to Kevin's second theory. Moving on to final boss theories, Octarians are said to have varying levels of intelligence, the standard Octo Trooper isn't really anything more than a minion to follow orders. Just look at their derpy faces. Octobombers who have two tentacles are more intelligent. 
Twin Tacoa Octo Troopers are even more competent. This intelligence is probably the basis of their social hierarchy. DJ Octavio is the most intelligent Octarian we know of and appears to be one that is a reproductive source based on his tentacle mark slash score. Well, at least so far anyway. I've personally gone back and forth on whether Octavio is the true leader of the Octarians or not. He keeps the Octarians in line with his music because like Inklings, Octarians look up to idols. If this was Splatoon 3, I would say without a doubt he would be the final boss. At this point, he is Splatoon's Bowser. But this is an expansion. So perhaps another upper tier Octarian is the mastermind behind the lab. I honestly don't think it's Captain Cuttlefish. It seems way too dark for his character. So it's probably an Octavio level Octarian. And I definitely do agree with that. I don't necessarily think it is an inkling that is behind the lab. I think it is somebody from the Octarians or somebody connected to the Octarians. Now, Kevin, not an actual name, has appeared in this series before. I probably did feature his comment around about a month ago now. And he asked me what I thought in terms of links between Salmon Run and Octo Expansion. And this is related to Kevin's final theory and as a final note i'm going to bring salmon run links back we do not know why grisco industries is collecting golden eggs we do know they're keeping it low key as if it is illegal but golden eggs are a valuable power source we've never seen octarians with golden eggs perhaps the salmon is are too protective of them to trade them but the lab cannot function with normal power eggs alone. So maybe the Octarians or a hired contractor has established an undercover operation to steal golden eggs from the Salmonids in order to get them without the Salmonids turning on the Octarians. Octarians can't steal them directly, so their contractor Mr Grizz sets up Grizzco's part-time employment for Inklings claiming that they're being used for Incopolis. They are framing the Inklings, that way they can still have normal business with Salmonids. This leads nicely into why some of you guys think Mr Grizz is the final boss for the Octo expansion. Carefree Captain says, I think the final boss would either be someone completely new or Mr Grizz. My thought process is that we see Agent A in a green translucent liquid, what survives in a green translucent liquid, salmon is, and who has access to salmon is in a controllable environment. The person who has a bunch of salmonid eggs delivered to him every other day, Mr. Grizz. NJ Fox says, I have reason to believe Mr. Grizz will be the final boss. He's got to have been using those golden eggs for something. I bet Mr. Grizz used the power of the golden eggs to make the otterlings stronger like a super soldier program and agent a has to fight mr grizz for her freedom like in portal you fight gladys for your freedom it's the same principle now just to move away from nj fox's theory for one second i do believe there was a portal reference in the auto expansion trailer so maybe nj fox has got it spot on but let's just get back to NJ Fox's theory. Grizz built a test facility to supercharge Octolings and was listening to Kalimara Incantation while working on Agent 8 and the music changed her. She realised she had to escape but Grizz stopped her and she lost her memory. Mr Grizz wiped her memory. Fast forward two years, Captain Cuttlefish shows up with Agent 3 probably suspicious of Mr. Grizz and tracked him down. On the way, they find Agent A and decide to recruit her and help her escape. Mew Lover thinks the final boss will be Mr. Grizz because he has no backstory, so he needs more development. The next theory comes in from Madison Spaulding. I have a theory. Since we don't know where all the golden eggs go from Salmon Run, maybe the Octarians hired Mr. Grizz to get them golden eggs. And since he's a stone radio thing, he makes you get the eggs and gives them 
to the Octarians. The next theory comes in from what or WUT, some Grizz biz, and their theory is three words, Salmonid training camp in the Salmonids and U leaflet. You can read about Salmonids being trained for battle multiple times in different sections, such as in the flyfish, steelhead or snatcher sections. Maybe the Salmonids either help and you have to fight against Mr. Grizz, or you and Mr. Grizz capture the Salmonids camp in some sort of stealth mission, or some crazy big head on storming into the camp and ravaging the camp. And the last theory that I will be including in this video comes in from Crazy Sapling. What if the final boss had something to do with Salmonids? They kind of feel like they would have something to do with the Octarians in some way, and I think it would be cool to at least see them or even have some kind of Salmonid Queen or King. That would definitely be cool. Now every theory that I have featured and talked about in this Your Theories series, I definitely do think each and every one of them is plausible and could end up happening within the Octo expansion. But the one theory I believe the most is what you have suggested in this video and that is Salmon Run and Octo Expansion will be linked in some capacity, whether it is just explaining what happens to the golden eggs when we collect them, when we do play Salmon Run, or whether it will explore the relationship between Salmonids and Octarians. We know from interviews with the devs behind the game that Salmonids and Octarians are allies, so maybe the Octo Expansion will explore that relationship and I think Nintendo would want to have a link between Salmon Run and the Octo Expansion. That's just what I think they would want to happen. Now here is how I think Salmon Run and Octo Expansion will be linked. And this will be including some of the theories that I did talk about within this video. So I think the Octarians, they need as much power as possible to run the test facilities that allows them to wipe Octarians and Octolings memories and also allows them to sanitize them as well. Now for the reason why they need to wipe memories of Octolings and Octarians, I guess that is up in the air. Maybe it is to make them forget watching the performance of Calamari Incantation by the Squid Sisters. Maybe they want that to happen so that they forget Calamari Incantation, they forget the effects of what happened whilst watching Kalimari Incantation and it returns them to the state of like what they were before they did witness the performance of Kalimari Incantation or maybe they want to wipe the memories to forget Octolings witnessing DJ Octavio getting defeated so that they will continue to stay motivated to fight against the Inklings or maybe they are sanitizing Octolings to create a stronger sort of Octoling trooper. Maybe that is what is happening within the Octo expansion. But like what I said, I guess the reasons why they are sanitizing and wiping memories, I guess that is up in the air at this moment in time. But they need power to run the test facility. And pretty much the salmon is they have golden eggs that would be enough for the Octarians to run the test facility. But because Salmonids and Octarians are allies, the Octarians can't necessarily steal the golden eggs themselves because it would be a risk to the relationship that they have with Salmonids. So what Octarians have done is hired a contractor to steal the golden eggs for the Octarians without them having to steal the golden eggs themselves and the contractor that the Octarians did hire to steal the golden eggs from the Salmonids is Mr Grizz and what Mr Grizz has done is set up a part time employment opportunity which is of course Salmon Run within Incopolis so that the Salmonids wouldn't suspect that it was the Octarians that are behind stealing the golden eggs and pretty much what Mr Grizz does he gets all of the golden eggs that we collect for him and he takes them down to the underground for the Octarians so that they can power the test facility or maybe Mr Grizz isn't a contractor 
and he is the one behind everything so he will be the final boss he is the creator of the lab he is the one that is wiping octoling memories he is the one that is sanitizing them as well maybe mr grizz is an octarian sort of boss we have never seen mr grizz before so that is a possibility that mr grizz is an octarian so maybe that is the case maybe mr grizz isn't a contractor maybe mr grizz could be the final boss and that is what i believe i think mr grizz will be the final boss within the octo expansion so that is how i think salmon run and the octo expansion will be linked i think we will learn what happens to the golden eggs after we collect them when we do play salmon run and the octarians they use them to power the test facility that allows them to wipe octoling and octarian trooper memories and it allows them to sanitize them as well let me know your thoughts on everything that i've talked about in the comment section below do you think salmon run and the octo expansion will be linked in some capacity i definitely believe that but let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below also one thing i have forgot to mention so far is that people have discovered that the octoling set from splatoon 1 and captain cuttlefish's cap will be salmon run rewards in the future so maybe this confirms that there will be a link between salmon run and the octo expansion i definitely do feel like those two things could be hinting that there is a link between salmon run and the octo expansion but let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below but that is it for this video and i will see you in another your theories episode i've probably got one more episode to go before e3 but that is it for this video and i will see you next time